sleeves because this is really tough work. No, it's not. It's the exact opposite of hard work. Anyways, hi, hello, welcome to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this dumb video. I appreciate it. And yes, it is dumb because I'm dumb. Kind of just goes hand in hand. I'm SB Mitch. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the handle on your screen right now. And below that is my website. It is called Ransom Note Sneakers. That's where you can find all the shoes from this box that's next to me to my right, which would be your left on the screen, I believe. I don't really know how that whole thing works. But they will be available for sale today at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Is that loud enough for you? Nope. Today is Beater Box Friday! Yeah! This box is from Soul Supremacy because they are the leaders in the Beater Box phylum. No? They're just the best of Beater Boxes. They pretty much started it and they have perfected it. So, Soul Supremacy, very good website. Check them out, soulsupremacy.com. This box was $725 plus $40 to ship it here to Chicago, Illinois. More like Illinoising, am I annoying? Yes. For a grand total of $765, right? Yes. So the thing with these boxes is that they are priced under market, so there's a really good chance to make some money. Follow along with the counter. Its name is Clarence because I'm lonely enough to name inanimate objects. It's gonna be letting you know how much each shoe is worth on the secondary market based on size, condition, ease of movement, and recent and current sale prices for similar or the same shoe. Then we're gonna break it down at the end of the video to show you how much I paid for the box compared to how much the box is actually worth on the secondary market. So let's open the box and see what's going on in here. The other box I got from this week was the $1,250 box that I opened at SneakerCon and it was probably one of the best boxes I've ever gotten in terms of just fun. It's a good fun box. This one's looking good already too. I see one pair. Oh no, there's a couple pairs of loose shoes. Get this one out of the way first. So we have a used pair of the 2016, right? 2012 release of an Air Jordan 4 in the white cement colorway. This is a size 11 and a half, but these are in great shape. You can see the Jumpman is still in there. I hope if my lights are working well enough. I don't see any paint issues on these. Just a little bit of discoloration on the cages. Uh, these are in great shape. Uh, size 11 and a half, white cement 4. No box, your first shoe out. That's probably worth between like 175 and 225, I guess. I don't know, I, I guess. That's basically all I do. Looks like we got another four. Is it the same size? It is, it is the same size, the size 11 and a half. Air Jordan 4 from 2012. This is the Fire Red 4. Dang, these are in great shape too. Hardly any star loss. No paint issues whatsoever. A little bit of creasing on the toe box, but just a very clean looking Jordan 4 in great shape. Jumpman is still in there too. So these had to have been from the same seller. Size 11 and a half, Jordan 4, Fire Red. 2012. So those are some pretty awesome loose shoes. I don't mind that at all. We got some grade schools. We're getting those out of the way because grade school pairs are just a pain in the butt for me. Got a size seven youth Jordan 11 retro low GG. I don't know what this colorway is, but it's kind of slick. Looks kind of like a blue moon type colorway, I guess maybe. These are, yeah, these are worn, but super, super lightly. You can see the jump man is barely, barely gone in there. Very little outsole wear. Yeah, it's just a small size. I don't know what's going on where the patent leather would normally be. I don't know what material that is, but it feels kind of rough, maybe. I don't know. Feels like an old football or something. But yeah, ah, man, there you go. Seven Youth, Jordan 11 Low. In very near dead stock condition. The box is a little beat up, but that's okay. Got a bunch more in here too. Let's get this. We got a Jordan with the gold jump man on the box. It's a Jordan 7 in a size 11. <sighs> These are, the, are these the Tinker 7s? I think these are the Tinker 7s. Uh, I think. They're not Olympic, they're Tinker. Are they, what year are these from? 27, 16. I think these are the Tinker Hatfield 7s. 95% sure. But I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. It's kind of like my thing. So, uh, nice condition. A little bit of wear on the insole, not much. The outsole's in great shape. Hardly any drag or anything. Just needs a quick cleanup. So, size 11. I think these are Tinker Hatfield 7s. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, it's close enough to a Olympic style colorway. Like it's got the nine on the back. So yeah, there you go. Next up, we got an Air Jordan 11 retro in a size 14. That was me doing a boat impersonation. Eh, no surprise here. These are re-releasing in the next month. 
They've already shock dropped on sneakers. Got a pair of Bread 11s. This is the 2012 release. Uh, these are super lightly worn. Hardly any outsole wear. A little bit of toe box creasing here. Um, it's got the original inserts, which is cool. Most of the Jumpman is still hanging out in there. It's got the size sticker in there too. Yeah, I mean, these are just re-releasing in like a month. So everyone has been selling their Bread 11s to Soul Supremacy, which, you know, that's fine. If I was gonna grab Bread 11, I'd probably want the older one because I like the lower patent, but that's just me. I don't know. So we got three more in here. They're all Jordans. This is a size 10 and a half. Uh, Jordan 5. Hmm. These are the Red Suede Jordan 5s, not to be confused with the Defining Moments Pack Raging Bull 5s. Um, it's a Red Suede 5 with a 3M tongue. It's got the lace locks, that's good. A uh, little bit of wear, a little bit of outsole discoloration, but these are so new that there's really no chance for them to be really worn very heavily. Uh, they just need a quick cleanup and maybe, yeah, the suede's a little bit faded, but still in good shape, so there you go. Size 10 and a half, Red Suede 5s. Got two more in here, they're both Jordan 1s. Got a size 10 Jordan 1. Mmm, okay. So this is a size 10 of the, I think these are called like Crimson Tint, or something like that. But it's a classically color blocked Jordan 1 with this really like peach pink kind of color on it. Hardly any star loss, very little heel drag. It's in good shape. Oh, no wonder the video looks super weird. I'm like way low in my chair. Hey there. Go up higher. There, there we go. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, these are cool. The toe box leather is not great. The tumbled leather on the side panel, the ankle, and the mudguard is very nice. So that's kind of weird that there'd be such a drastic difference between the quality of leather on certain parts, but eh, eh, I'm not here to judge. It's size 10. Jordan 1 was released this year, so it's kind of surprising someone wear a shoe for under a couple months. And there's one more. It's a Jordan 1 2. It's a Jordan 1 in a size 13. Got a pair of Obsidian 1s. These are large, holy moly. These are worn just a little bit though. Um, no star loss, just a little bit of heel drag there. These just need to be cleaned up. Like you can see some of the dirt on the midsole, uh, a lot of creasing on the toe box too. But overall, these are in great shape. Insole wear is there. You just need a good cleanup and they'll be set. I mean, they come with the original laces and the secondary laces here too. And it's got the original box too. So yeah, cool. These things are tanks. There you go, size 13, Obsidian Ones. And that is a $725 Soul Supremacy beater box. I think it's pretty good. Let's see, let's see what the numbers look like though. Bring it down! box isn't bad at all. Uh, there's a lot of easily movable Jordan 1s, Jordan 5s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 11. I mean, most of the shoes are super popular models, so they'll be easy to move. Pretty decent box. These shoes will be cleaned up and available on my website today at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That website is ransomnotesneakers.com. Be sure to check it out. I will be cleaning all these shoes with Rejuvenator, and you can actually use my code SBMitch10 at Rejuvenator.com to save yourself 10% on your order of all the cleaning supplies that you need for your shoes. I use it. I fully, fully believe in the product. So that's why I'm, why I'm partnered with them. So very cool. Uh, uh, I am going to be out of town this weekend. So if you do buy a pair of shoes, I won't be able to ship it until Monday. I apologize, but eh, whatever. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. Have yourself a great weekend. I will see you soon. Till next time, take care of each other. And remember, they're just shoes. It's supposed to be fun. So make it fun. Yeah! Okay, see you later. Bye!